get crazy for the very funny Adam Ray, ladies and gentlemen. Here he comes. Hey, yeah, come on. Come on, keep it going for me, come on. Come on, come on, clap, you piece of shit, come on. Fucking participate. Sorry, that was aggressive. You doing all right? Good. Fuck yeah. Well, Eddie Bauer action. You big Eddie, uh, Eddie Bauer guy? It's from Costco? All right, I don't think I like your fucking attitude right now, dude, if I'm being perfectly honest. Yeah. <laughs> it's from, yeah are you a big Costco guy then? Let's shift gears, yeah. Hey, do you have a current membership? You're on your mom's membership? Fuck yeah. Are you old enough to be here right now? <laughs> the way you said that was, I'm on my mom's Costco membership right now. So it's pretty sweet. I get as much pizza, pizza bites as I want. So what's your name, dude? Neil. Neil, what do you do out here? Like here? All right, let's move on. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> The future. <laughs> like when I'm not on TikTok and making Tide Pod soup, what's going on? What, what was the question? No, that's all right, dude, yeah. I, I'll be more clear. What, like, what do you do, like, so you're in school. What do you study, I guess, is what I should have said. Computer science and econ. Fuck yeah, dude. What do you want to do with that? Because there's a lot you can uh, take out of that, yeah? I don't know. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Bro, love the honesty. You're also in a, uh, you know, a time in your life where you don't have to have all the answers, right? I mean, no, and guess what? You never will. Nobody fucking does, right? You're, what, 19, 20? I'm 25. 25, yeah. <laughs> All right, so fucking, you know, next couple weeks, fucking figure it out, you know? <laughs> that was awesome. You got plenty of time, man. Huh? You're gonna die soon. Um, who else? <laughs> What's your main grocery store? Walgreens. One at a time, maybe, yeah. Somebody say Walgreens? If you're getting your groceries at Walgreens, fucking things did not go according to plan. Walgreens is great. I get my tomatoes, my light bulbs, and my Plan B gummies all on the same journey. Walgreens, they've got everything you need. Not really, but kind of. Walgreens. What the fuck? They've got great celery. <laughs> they've got the best selection of ranch dressing I've ever seen. Oh, at Walgreens. Oh, God. Oh, man. That's a red flag, by the way. Any, if you go to any Super Bowl party or whatever, dude, this is great dip. Where'd you get it? Walgreens. You'll never believe it. Yeah, they've got a whole section of, like, two things. I just picked both of them up, brought them over. Yeah. <laughs> we were in a hurry. You get it. Yeah. So what was that kid dream for you, Andrew? An astronaut, oh shit. And what, uh, what happened? You were just like, fuck, that is way too high. <laughs> what got in the way? Not smart enough. Not smart enough, yeah. Well, not with that fucking attitude, yeah, for sure. <laughs> you gotta believe in yourself, man. <laughs> it starts from here. Space, dude. Do you believe in the moon? You think we, uh, that was a weird question. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna take a sip of my tequila. Oh my God. I'm gonna be 40 in June and I just asked a 21 year old male, do you believe in the moon, son? <laughs> that could only have been weirder if we were in a sauna. Oh my God, is that your real voice? Oh shit, man. This motherfucker funny. Dude, you are my new favorite person in Madison, Wisconsin. What a great voice. Oh, shit. <laughs> What's your name, man? What, what, what name is attached to that cool set of pipes? Anthony. Well, that was a different fucking voice, Anthony. <laughs> that was not the same guy. You talk and laugh completely different? Yeah, oh, man, you a funny motherfucker, man. Everything you've been saying tonight, I've been relating to on some level. <laughs> Anthony. 
You look like the uh, lead singer. What's the fucking the guy who sings uh, Rock a Bye, Rock a Everything's Gonna Be Alright. Rock a Bye. Who is that guy? Sean Mullins. Fuck, how do you know that? <laughs> you also got a little Creed going on, a little Nickelback. Can you take me high? How many times do people do that to you? Never, that was the first time. All right, fuck. This was the first time, man. I'm not a big fan of it. <laughs> Look at this photograph. Okay, he goes, yeah, that one I get a lot. <laughs> awesome, dude. What was that kid dream for you? Uh, weed picker. A weed picker? Yeah. Nice. Like marijuana weed or like weed, like just weeds in the garden? It led up to, yeah. Oh shit, but, it, but at first it was just a, a, a regular old weed picker. Yeah, yeah. And what, what uh, dandelions and shit. There's a, you can do that and make money? Yeah, yeah. I love this, he goes, I didn't know you couldn't actually do that. That dust is why I don't do it, man. <laughs> that's awesome. Dude, see, and that's, dude, you just play right into that whole point about being a kid, you're like, <laughs> Oh my God, I would love to be in the classroom for whatever when they're going around. All right, um, Jenny, what do you want to be when you grow up? Uh, a doctor. Very cool. And Billy, what about you? I'll be a tutor training conductor. That's amazing. And um, what was your name again? Jared. Jared. And Jared, well, what would you like to be? Uh, I'm going to uh, make $50,000 a year picking dandelions. <laughs> That's great, Jared. And, what, and where will you put them? Just in, my, in the house. But you believe that shit. You thought that was gonna be a real lucrative, uh... fuck yeah. It still could be. I love that. Dude, the most supportive spouse of all time. Still could be if he wants it to be. I always tell my little JJ when he wakes up, anything you wanna do, you can do, including eat my pussy. And that's just one thing, and that's just one thing that I tell him. That's so, how long have you guys been together? Congratulations. Mary? No. No. Oh. Fuck you guys. Hey, hey. Not cool. Bad Madison. It's fine, man. I knew it. <laughs> Why did you say that like you were falling out of an airplane? It's just a piece of paper. You're two inches away from me. Five inches away from them, yet you still added the whole echo sound effect. It's just a piece of paper. Live your life for yourself. Don't be afraid of commitment. That was awesome. What, what's your name, Jiminy Cricket? I like your fucking do-rag, dude. Is that a do-rag? I guess, yeah. I like it. What's your name, man? Hans Marty. Hans Marty? What's your pin number, Hans Marty? Full name. I like that when people give me the full name. Is it Hans, Hans Marty? Like, you feel like there's a lineage here. Are you like junior, senior? Or the third? You are the fifth? There's five fucking other Hans Martys out there? There was at one point. What is that skill for me to go like, I feel like you're one of five Martys. And then he's like, I fucking am, man. How did you know? <laughs> wow, all right, so where do you fall in line in the Hans Marty uh, tradition? I just keep milking the cows. Yep, don't know what the fuck that means. <laughs> No, but I asked, where do you fall in line in the, like, are you the oldest or the youngest? And you responded with some sort of fucking Mad Libs fucking limerick riddle. I just keep milking the cows, one in the pink, two in the stink. Ba da ba ba ba, I'm loving it. Hans Marty. Dude, you've got to be the most fun Hans Marty for sure. Oh, man. Hans Marty, that sounds like. Sounds like a famous name, like a guy that like invented the toaster or some shit. <laughs> and what do you do, Hans? Well, I dairy farm and run a bar. Fuck it, you dairy farm. Yep. Oh, so when you were trying to show me how to milk a cow, so 
Was I way off? Oh, it's two udders, yeah. I don't think anyone just grabs what I was doing. You can't just grab, you can't just grab one udder, right? You gotta, you gotta... They have four? Four teats. One udder. And the udder, what's the difference between an udder and a teat? And that's the first time I've asked that, ever. The udder is what? Is the what? The whole, the sack of what? Oh, oh, the milk. And then the teats. So the udder's like the boob. So they have one boob and four tits. And fucking, that's your lesson on today's Dudes Break Down Animals. What's up, guys? My name's Adam Ray, and I know you're having trouble figuring out, like, what animals are all about, so let me break it down to you. All right, so cows, one fucking giant-ass titty, right? And four mini-titties on that big titty. What do you do, what do you do tattoos of? Everything? Only buttholes. Only buttholes? And the award for weirdest, pervious audience member of the night goes to We Do Tattoos Only Buttholes in the corner. Yeah. We Do Tattoos in parentheses Only Buttholes is definitely on the front door of your business. Oh my God. Wait, so what happens when someone comes in? They're like, please, I just, I want my mom's name on my neck. They're like, you read the sign, man. Either turn around and spread them or fucking get the fuck out of here, man. Only buttholes, man. We've been a long time making that sign. Sorry about your mother, but I can, you know, she fucking, you know, put it, put it there. That's the same thing. It's, a bundle is just a downstairs neck. Where do you guys go from here? You guys uh, go out into the streets or do you close up shop? Dance. Dance? Dance. Oh, I said dance. We have to dance. I don't know where, but we'll hit the streets of Madison and we'll just figure it out. Normally the rhythm finds you. Also, can I be honest, for a second I thought you said dads, which was even more hilarious. What are you doing tonight? Dads! We're gonna get, we have a couple more beers and fuck a bunch of dads. So, first of all, dude, you've been a real treat tonight. Hell yeah, fuck me. I want a Hans Marty action figure with one of those pull strings, right? So ready, I'll do the pull string and you say something, ready? Well, if you go three times, you're guaranteed six inches. Wait, wait, wait. We gotta pull the, we gotta pull the string again. We need a different phrase. Oh, fuck, I'm all out. Can you imagine buying the Hans Marty doll and giving it to your kid on Christmas and 7 a.m. they pull the string and he just goes, Aah. How are you, bud? If you could open your legs wider for me, that'd be awesome. Thank you so much. <laughs> just fucking, hey, try to do jokes while you look at my fucking tank, man. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, I know your position, you know. It's not the ideal spot to just be uh, lunged up against the wall like that, but... But, uh, very distracting. <laughs> but good for you, man. You got, a, you got a fucking, you got a solid base, as they say. <laughs> yeah. How much, how much heat are you packing? Can you give us uh, a rough idea? Between five and eight, you seem like, yeah? Hey, this wasn't the start I anticipated either, so fucking, let's be on the same page tonight. <laughs> What's your name? Cruz. Yeah, that fucking fits, yeah. All right, so I think we are probably heading towards more of the eight inch range, yeah? I don't think your name is Cruz and you're, you know, uncircumcised. What do you do, Cruz? You're in construction, fuck yeah, dude. What, uh, what specifically are you uh, building these days? Fuck yeah. Was that carpentry? Nice, dude. And who's this to your, uh... Fuck yeah. How long have you guys been together? Almost two years. Where'd you meet? Fuck yeah. Classic. Do you remember what you said? That's always uh, tricky, right? 
I'm sure also COVID was like a nice break for you guys and I have to be on the receiving end of like guys trying to fucking, because it's a tricky, it's a slippery slope. I see guys all the time, saw it last night at bars, just guys trying to, uh, you know, get on a lady's good side. 89% of fellas, I think, do want to put the best foot forward. Uh, there is another 11% that fucks it up for the rest of us and says weird, creepy shit. You know who you are, by the way, you pervy bastards. You just blend those comedy and creepy lines because you're too fucked up, right? You just, you got that sexual shot clock in your head. You're just, it's 145, I got a score. You start throwing Hail Marys on first down instead of running a couple plays like an asshole. See her coming out of the bathroom, he's like, hey, you ever been in a trunk? It's like, dude, that's not a joke. That's, that's a suggestion for a kidnapping, Greg. That's not a punchline. You gotta fucking get your priorities straight, man, before you start talking. So what did you say to uh, Jessica that really uh, piqued her interest, Cruz? You asked her to come home with you that night. Fuck, dude. Yeah, dude, so you just, you must have, yeah. She just was like, well, he does have a white base. And <laughs> that means he's stable. <laughs> Do you remember what you said prior to that? Or was it just kind of, were you guys both just pretty fucked up? Yeah, yeah good for you. <laughs> yeah, guys just take on any sort of challenge, right? We get fucked up, we get those alcoholic MacGyvers living inside of us. We're just like, <clears throat> dude, I'm actually more productive when I drink, to be honest with you. <laughs> I can do, I can do anything, man. Dude, I can, dude, give me a challenge, give me a challenge, motherfucker. You, you don't think I, you don't, you don't think I can put together a fucking bunk bed? It's like, nobody said that, man. You brought that shit up literally out of fucking nowhere, man. I just asked you what time it was, and you responded with that bullshit. I'm sure with instructions, you could put together a bunk bed, man, but we're already letting you drive, so why don't you focus on the road, dude? If we survive the crash, we'll talk bunk beds till the sun comes up. And girls have way more restraint. Every fellow could take a page from a lady's booze bowl. Girls are just so good. It's why you're gonna live longer. You just have a lot of just, you know, I just, you know, I have limits, you know, limitations. I just, I can't, I can't drink everything <laughs> anymore. That was the old Kimberly. <laughs> that, was, that was the old me. I just, I can't. I just, that was, it's a new year. It's a new me. I put that on Facebook. I don't know why I didn't like it, but fucking I'm still gonna do it. It's my journey. <laughs> I just, I don't need you to support my choices. I'm an independent woman, but you do you, Christine. You are an independent Madison bitch. If you want to go out, no, seriously, you like live your life. If you want to go out and just, you know, that is your choice, and I support that. But I, I can't do that anymore. That was the old me. I just, I just, I don't offer me whiskey. I can't. I wish I could. The old me could. I could just, I'm licking off the floor. But now I'm a different person. I don't trust myself on whiskey. I don't like who I am. I, you can ask Siobhan. Remember Cabo and all the, yeah, don't say anything, you can't. But she just, it's, I just, I'm a different person. I just, I, you know, I'm making some changes from myself. I can't do tequila anymore. I can't. One shot. I, I get so horny on tequila. I just, I do. I'm being honest. I just, one shot. I'm like, ay, 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 ay. <laughs> I am just crazy. I just can't do it. Don't give me Jaeger. I got. I, I won't tell you exactly what happened with me and Jaeger, but I can't go to the zoo anymore. So I'll just have a water of fresca. Oh yeah. Forgot you guys were here. <laughs> Who did watch Tiger King? Cruz? Were you a Tiger King uh, follower? Yeah. Carol Baskin. Do we think she did it? Yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. Well, why do you think, Cruz? Where'd her husband go? Yeah, fucking no further questions, Your Honor. <laughs> I mean, I would love to see Cruz in the fucking courtroom. I mean, first of all, she fucking did it. So there you go on that. And then also, where'd her husband go? Oh, he just fucking walked away from his life and in, not, in, not into a tiger's mouth? Fuck yeah, Cruz. <laughs> yeah, Carol Baskin does look like she did it. The face usually does match the crime. That's what I love about certain uh, news stories and, and, and uh, tragedies, right? Like, if you see a, a headline that says, like, you know, Madison man smuggles 10 pounds of chicken McNuggets in his asshole. The face that accompanies that headline is always a guy like, ah! <laughs> and you're like, yeah, that guy definitely did that. For sure. It's never like hot Brad Pitt being like, hey, my bad. <laughs> Didn't have any pockets that day, baby. Where was I supposed to put those nuggets? <laughs> yeah, Tiger King. It's crazy. That brought us together. We were so divided. And everybody was like, yes, this is it. This is... Everybody rallied around that, though. That was, you know, that was exciting. <laughs> what a time to be alive. Yeah. Did you watch uh, some Tiger King? Was there a go-to COVID show that you had? No. No? Dude... 
did you what did you what did you do during COVID? <laughs> work? Where do you work? I'm in healthcare. Dental worker. Oh hell yeah. Yeah, I love how supportive your friend was. She's like, I'll finish this sentence. She's um <laughs> Yeah, I, I saw the booze was taking over real quick, yeah. You're like, I'm in it. Care worker! She's, yes, she does that. I got her. It's all good. It's all good. Just close your eyes, Stephanie. It's awesome. Every friend needs that friend. <laughs> How long have you guys been pals? You seem like you got a fun uh, camaraderie between you. Yeah? Childhood buddies? A recent uh, friendship? 20 years. 20 years of friendship. Fuck yeah, where'd you guys meet? At Fort Atkinson? Nice, where's that? Did you just make that shit up? Why is everybody laughing? Well, that's cool. What's your name? Nice, dude. What's on your ear right there? I see something jingling and dangling. Uh, well, I bought these from a guy outside. They were like, he said five bucks for our ears. So I told him to handle Yeah, we didn't need the whole fucking story, dude. I just, you know, I just wanted to know if, I, if that was an earring or not. But yeah, but yeah. But okay, so you, he said five bucks and you bought the earring and then you're like, I'm going to take that. Inside. What is it exactly? It's a, uh, a piece of cheese. A piece of cheese, nice. Were your ears already pierced or did you just fucking puncture that shit? Oh, yikes. Yeah. And were you the one that, uh, that took that on? Yeah. What's your name again? Keenan? Keenan, what do you do out here in Madison? Uh, I do utility locating. Utility locating? Yes, sir. Fuck yeah, dude. And was that the dream? I just asked because I love stand-up, but this wasn't the original game plan, you know? I had, I had, I wanted to be in the NBA when I was a kid. You know that when you're a kid and you're farting around, you're on the playground, you're delusional, and you're like, man, if you put your heart and your mind into it, you can do anything. And then you grow up and become an adult, and you're like, fuck, not anything. You can't, actually. We all have limitations. Time to reassess. I guess I'll be a utility fucking manager. So what, what did you want to do before that? You want to be artistic? You want to be artistic? Or autistic? autistic. What, did, what did you say? Yeah. <laughs> Which one did you actually say? Artistic, yeah? I'll set you up, bro. You were setting me up? Yeah, I'll take it from here. But I think that there's something, yeah. I think that there's something about what you said, though, being artistic. Like, yeah, you want to be creative, right? So sports was not in the uh, cards. Artistic, what, did you want to paint? You want to draw? Like, what was? I want to say dumb shit to people who, like, can't. You want to be, you want to say dumb shit? Like, yeah. Nailed yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know who that is, but great timing. He's like, oh, you want to say dumb shit? Well, you're fucking right on cue, baby. Just keep being Keenan and you won't have a problem with that. Fucking, you got a cheese in your fucking earlobe right now, man. I think you're pretty much there, dude. Nailed it. Smoke pot, Keenan? You smoke pot? Oh, yeah. I mean, like. I'm not a cop, dude. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that was awesome. I mean, hey, uh, oh, whoa, whoa, hey, no, hey. Hey, man, I tried to set you up for a joke. Now you're trying to set me up to go to jail, dude. That shit's fucked up, man. You have, you have a cheesy earring right now. I can't believe I asked if you smoke pot. <laughs> I mean, don't those things... Yeah, dead giveaway. What do you like to do when you get high, uh, Keenan? What's your go-to move? Uh, documentaries. TV, yeah. It's a pretty popular, uh, popular answer. I see a guy at the show on Thursday. I go, what do you like to do when you smoke pot? I swear to God, he goes, cocaine. I was like, all right, well, that's not what I thought you were going to say. I did not think you were going to say that, but it is a gateway drug, so I'm not going to judge the way you're living your life. <laughs> Did you smoke uh, cigarettes too? I used to. You used to what happened? How, how'd you kick the habit? The gum, the patch? A vape? Oh god. You just grow more and more hateable by the moment, don't you? Oh my god, you have a piece of cheese dangling from your fucking earlobe, and you're like, yeah man, I stopped smoking cigs so I could uh, pick up my new habit, which is smoking the vape. 
You probably heard of it. You probably pronounce it differently because you're a fucking bitch. Oh, all right. <laughs> oh, you like those? You like those people that uh, name their kids like Beatrice, but then they're like, it's pronounced Beatrice. <laughs> they call them Aaron, but they're like, it's pronounced Aaron. Right? I do want to follow that uh, same pattern if I have a kid and name him like Diarrhea. And then when people want to bust my balls, like, you named your kid Diarrhea, Adam? I'm like, no, no, no. It's pronounced Diarrhea. <laughs> He's Latin. <laughs> yeah, the cig culture, people that smoke cigs, they just, I mean, fuck, dude, you know, can't. They just walk around, right? Just, you know, they just dance to the music that don't, it's not even playing, right? They're just, just judging you. They don't even light it for the first couple minutes. They just kind of look at you like, where's your cigarette, pussy? You can't afford it? <laughs> just four to 14 seconds away from spitting a fact that nobody asked for. Like, yeah, I heard IHOP's coming out with a new syrup next month. It's like, okay, who cares, Cameron? I'm not getting that time back. This, the anti-smoking ads, that's what actually deterred me when I was a kid. They were so aggressive. Every other day in Seattle, you'd see these just real aggressive ads. A beautiful picture of a 17, 18-year-old gal. They'd all start the same. They'd slowly zoom in on her face, and then you'd hear this voice come on the TV. I was high school valedictorian. <laughs> Top of my class, graduated with honors, went to Harvard Law, met my dream man, had four beautiful kids, retired on a ranch in Montana, where we were chilling, relaxing, maxing all cool, shooting some b ball outside of the school. We had everything we needed. Then I started smoking 89 packs of cigarettes a week. Now I charge strangers $8 to fuck the hole in my neck. <laughs> 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 Oh, hey, hey, no, it's two in the afternoon and I'm seven, Pam, tone it down a notch. <laughs> Fucking the Ninja Turtles are up next, bitch, read the room. <laughs> There's a lot of info. <laughs> What's that? On a wheel. On a wheel? What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> On a wheel. Did the first part of that sentence just happen in your head? Did you just ask yourself, where would I, where would I be if I was a hamster? And then out loud she goes, on a wheel. On a wheel, me Mad Libs brain. <laughs> oh, wow, that was some cryptic shit. Keenan, what's going on over there? A lot of, a lot of chit chat, man. What are, you, uh, what are you breaking down right now? Uh, my bad, we're talking about when he used to work at McDonald's. <laughs> Yeah, that fucking sounds way better than me trying to achieve my dreams up here. Well, enlighten us, dude. If it was that... To tell me, uh, let's... Well, I, I got fired from that McDonald's. Oh, for doing what? Wait, let me take a guess. Go ahead. Yeah. What's your name? Jake. Jake. You got a mustache. Huh? Not that that should be a, a reason to fire you. No. I, I got fired over... A piece of cheese on a McChicken. Oh, you put a piece of cheese on a McChicken? Yep. Do not do that. Keenan, sit the fuck down, dude. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> you're in public, baby. <laughs> I mean, I love the enthusiasm that you're constantly, you know. So you put a piece of cheese on a McChicken, and why is that, why is that wrong? Jake. Well, I, I'd like to question it as well, but so I, I roll up to McDonald's. You know what, send me a fucking email, dude. This sounds like it's going to be a 15 minute story, and I don't think we have time or the stomach for this, but I'm so sorry for your loss. <laughs> Fire from McDonald's. Fucking put that on the life resume. God, did you ever bring that up uh, on a date? Do you got a girl in your life, Jake? Fiance. Fiance. Oh, shit. So, yeah. So you got her probably uh, post McDonald's, yeah? Very, very post McDonald's. Very post McDonald's, yeah. Did that come up? When did that come up? Like, how many dates in? Was she like, so, um, what do you, any other cool jobs you've held besides now? Like, have you, um, like, it's like, have you worked anywhere cool? Uh, yeah, I worked at McDonald's once. Oh, I don't know what voice that was I just gave you, but yeah. Jake, okay, so you put a piece of cheese on a McChicken and they said, fucking, you can't do that. And they fired no, you over that? They said, you're a thief and I need to terminate you. You're a thief? <laughs> okay, Jake, I don't feel like you're giving us the whole scoop, man. <laughs> hey, welcome back to one side of the story. 
Oh, man. Yeah, you know, hey. So, hey, I put a piece of cheese on a McChicken. I dip my dick in the fry machine. And I'm a thief. I sexually assaulted two of the drive through girls. Like, what's the biggie fry deal? I asked her if she wanted a Happy Meal. I showed her a picture of my ass. Like, and they fired me because I'm a thief, man. But one piece of cheese, man. One piece of cheese. And I farted into the fucking drive through speaker. And then one piece of cheese, man. One piece of cheese, man. And that's all it was. <laughs> Wait, now I recognize you. You are the Madison man who smuggled McNuggets in his asshole. <laughs> Yeah, there he is. Good to see you again. If you could go anywhere, out of everywhere, where would you go? Croatia. That was fucking very specific. <laughs> <laughs> and how would we get there? Jet ski. <laughs> I mean, how much coke are you on right now? Well, <laughs> I got an idea, dude. First of all, Bitcoin. Bitcoin is in. Bitcoin is back. Bitcoin is what we're gonna do. We're gonna build a chocolate factory, just like Willy Wonka, okay? Willy Wonka and the chocolate will hire some idiots to dance around Oompa Loompa Doobity Doo. And then, and then, hear me out, hear me out. Hey, look at me. We're gonna get on a jet ski. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna jet ski to Croatia tonight. I'm not saying no. A, ni a Niberia? Did you just make up a fucking animal? What is a Niberia? What's that? Oh, that's her name. What is she? Oh, gotcha. I, so we also would have accepted dog. Oh yeah. And where do you get the name uh, Siberia? What is it? Liberia? Niberia. Well, Niberia. Not. Don't act like what I was saying was too far fucking off from what you said. Siberia. Niberia! Jesus! Are you deaf? God, that's so different. People always do this. We should just name your Carol. I mean, shit, did you hear what Biden said today? Fucking me neither. How great is that? Just to be so out of the loop. I don't know, man. Did he smell somebody's head? That's on you, Diane, for wearing lavender hibiscus shampoo. Two things they ask you when they, when you, they swear you in. Don't fucking grab pussy and don't fucking smell heads. And Joe was like, come on, two heads is probably fine. <laughs> smelling a head, very weird. I did see a compilation of, of Biden smelling heads. That was, that was a bummer. <laughs> I just, I saw, somebody showed it to me. I was like, fuck, why'd you do that, man? I saw a normal greeting in any country. <laughs> man, yeah, come here, great to meet you. What do you, what do you got going on up there? Yeah. But at least he did it with his eyes closed, if I gotta play, you know, devil's advocate. Smelling a head you don't know, very creepy. Doing it with your eyes just fully like, <laughs> like that's, that's grounds for impeachment if you ask most upstanding citizens. But I have, and they don't like it. Joe, man, I want to, you know, I hope whoever's up, whoever's up there, I want him to crush it for us. It's tough to watch Joe sometimes. I mean, I always just, I'm like, oh, fuck it. I'm always just like in triple threat, like, fuck it, are you gonna... I just get, you know, hey, 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 come correct at some point with some uh, campaign slogan, some motto that really unifies the country. Every first lady's done it, right? Michelle Obama, she went hard in the paint with, they go low, we go high. And everybody was like, fuck it, yeah. <laughs> and Melania Trump came right back with, be best. <laughs> eh? And everybody was like, yeah. What? The fuck? Be best? Be better? Try your best? I feel like we're missing some words. Sweetheart, you want to finish that thought and get back to us? 
For sure Trump was just standing in the wing staring her down like, look, you get two syllables a week and then back in the box, bitch. You've already said too much. Somebody get Baron a cookie. Can you point, can you point your cock towards the sun? Can COVID pull the, can COVID pull the, can it get suck in the sun, suck it out of your dick? That was so funny when he said that. He said that to a guy in a suit on, with a family. Just, do you think if you put your penis towards the sun that COVID, well, the sun will suck it, suck it out of your dirt? And the guy was like, hey, I, don't, I don't know, man. <laughs> Why you ask me this on live TV? <laughs> How about a heads up? Imagine working your whole life to get a job in that administration and the president finally talks to you. And you go home that night to your wife. Sweetheart, how was work today? Oh, you know, it's bad, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dave, you always do this. You always downplay your successes. How was it, huh? How was it? Uh, well, the president talked to me for the first time. Oh, but you see, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, Mr. President's new best friend. <laughs> what do he say to you, Dave? What do he say? Uh, well, he, uh, Ask me if you pointed your, uh, your dick towards the sun, if the sun could take uh, COVID, if the sun could suck your, if the sun could suck your dick, and the sun, if you get a sun suck, if Mother Nature would blow you and just suck the, and you would come COVID into her mouth, if you could just come, if you could come COVID and the sun could suck you off and then you could get, and it would pull COVID out of your cock. <laughs> and he asked you that. <laughs> That's fucking impressive, Dave. <laughs> yeah, I just got engaged through the pandemic. Thank you so much. Yeah. You can stop clapping. There's a couple red flags. Um, no, she's the best thing ever, but she is addicted to an app called Citizens App. I don't know if you guys know what this is. You know what it is? Do you have Citizens App out here? Look, necessary on some levels. It's an app that notifies you when danger is lurking in your neighborhood, okay? Um, which is just what we all want, just to fill up on the fears before you go to bed. It just notifies you of all the fucking people that are cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs right outside your window. It's, and girls love it, because girls have wildly uh, forever been obsessed with like, I wonder how many different ways I can be stabbed in the neck right now. Right now. Well, Citizens App provides you with all that information. She'll wake me up from a deep sleep to be like, babe, I just got a notification. You gotta get up. There's a guy right now across the street, buck naked in a tree, holding a machete. Can you go see what he wants real quick? I'm like, babe, I think a guy in a tree uh, holding a sword with his cock out at three in the morning already has his night planned out. <laughs> what am I gonna say that's gonna deter him from the agenda he's created? You know, like, hey, what are you doing up there, man? You making some sandwiches? What's going on? Hey, where's your mask, by the way? Oh, shit, Andrew, I didn't see it was you, man. Good to see you, man. <laughs> oh, you guys are Game of Thrones uh, girls, yeah? I still don't watch that show. By the way, and that's why. That's why I haven't watched it. Just so I can always have that in my back pocket to be like, I haven't seen it. And someone goes, what? <laughs> why? You have a TV, don't you? What is the pitch to watch it? Oh, it's, it's so good. It's layered. It's deep. It's good. It's good in the what? Naked women. Yeah, there's a lot of butts and dragons and stuff, right? Which, which fucking guys fucking love, dude. What do we love? Fucking butts. Dragons. Fucking titties. <laughs> butts, dragons, and titties. Fuck, dude, is that your real voice? It's fucking incredible, man. Do you do voiceover work? No, no. You should, man. <laughs> Say this for me. Tampax is the best tampon on the market. Tampax is the best tampon on the market. Dude, I'd shovel up my ass just if I saw that commercial with your voice. <laughs> that was fucking cool, man. Because it's always usually like a, Tampax is the best tampon on the market. This motherfucker. Tampax is the best shit fucking money can buy, you know. How about this? Say Jiffy, say uh, Jiffy Moms choose best. Jiffy Moms choose best. Nice. How about this? Say, uh... <laughs> say ba da pa pa pa. I'm loving it.
Oh, man. I ain't getting off the stage. <laughs> All right, one more. What's a funny slogan? The cool it? Oh, I'll say. I'll say. Are you fucking racist? What's a black guy commercial? Um. What is it? Aflac. Aflac? Oh, can you do the the? Oh, do the can you do the do the duck? Uh... I've never been so excited in my entire life. <laughs> Can you, can you do the duck quack and then do the half leg? I don't know how it goes. You don't know what a duck sounds like? Oh, yeah. Half <laughs> leg. Yeah. Fuck yeah! Oh my god. If I did host that show, bros teaching kids about farm animals. Every commercial would be ready. Let's do a real quick one. Ready? So I'll, we'll cut to Aflac. So, right, so just a, as a recap from today's show, kiddos, cows got one big ass titty and four little titties to squirt out the fucking titty milk. We'll be right back. <laughs> this is my job. Planet Earth, man, that was one of my favorite shows. It was a nice escape, right? But even David Attenborough couldn't, uh, couldn't stay away and couldn't uh, deflect the, uh, what was happening outside. His narration was, uh, it was bleeding in to, uh, to his commentary, just what was happening uh, outside our windows, right? Just, you know. <laughs> Tasmania is a world apart. And just like any other sanctuary this side of Australia, winter means a struggle for survival. As a snow wolf fights for food, the platypus finds shelter in a nearby cave which provides the perfect place for him to kill himself in. Why would he do that, Dave? Because Adam, COVID-19 is running rapid. The vaccine can't come soon enough, and if it doesn't, no doubt global warming will soon burn the Earth's core to a crisp. Like a hot plate of bacon at IHOP. So call that girl, quit that job, poop in that urinal, because we're all going to die someday. Antarctica is one of the coldest climates this side of Australia. As temperatures drop by the minute, penguins are once again forced to ask themselves that million-dollar question. What would I do for a Klondike bar? <laughs> a 21-year-old Milwaukee man who currently lives in Madison but is from Milwaukee may or may not believe in the moon has his mom's Costco Club membership just for now. But soon he'll make enough money to buy his own Costco Club membership and get his own jumbo ketchup and Kirkland brand vaccine. Burn your hand on a turkey pot pie, and you're like, fuck this shit. That was like a hundred, that was a hundred thousand degrees right there. The fire was gonna be way hotter than that. What the fuck? There's a dick on my forehead. Yeah, dude. Being a firefighter will be cool though. Did you at least think about like what you would say as you uh, like ran into the fire? That's I guess just from seeing all the fire movies, that's what I fantasize about if I had to be a part of that world. <laughs> that's what that's obviously why I should not do that. Because I'm not, I'm, you know, like, hey, there's a bunch of people in there. Like, yeah, yeah, just let me think of the cool shit I'm going to say right before I go in. <laughs> right? Every movie, they're always just like, you know, Kurt, don't go in there. He's like, it's all right. I fuck fire without a condom. And then it goes inside and fucking just raw dogs that house and grabs everyone to safety. And you're like, dude, that guy's the man. <laughs> did you ever at least think of that? Like, you're, you did. Oh, fuck yeah. So what would be, what was going to be Cole's thing? What would you say? So let's say, let's set the scene, right? Big fire. Right, apartment building, maybe the, the federal courthouse where your, you know, where your future will soon reside. You have no idea, you're going into your fucking future, literally, and it's burning to the ground. And you're running in to say fucking, you know, just, you know, who, who, whoever works there, right? And you're running in, and what do you say, Cole? Here, even say it to the mic, what do you say, ready? Cole's running in, fucking, I'll be one of the guys, I'm running out, I'm like, Jesus Christ, it's fucking, it's bloody murder, there's a cat in there, and somebody brought their fucking kid here, it's bring your kid to work day, and they're fucking, they're still eating a hot cookie, and they're fucking dying, everyone's dying, everyone's dying. And then Cole says, tell my family I love them. 
Oh, fuck, dude. Oh, anybody all else almost about to cry? <laughs> Jesus, dude, thanks for bringing the energy down. Tell my family how awful. Definitely thought you were gonna say something else. <laughs> something funny, it's like a comedy show, go home. Remember when I said fuck fire without a condom? I thought you would just, you know, go down that path. Just took it down Sirius Avenue. Well, that's sweet. That says a lot about you, Cole. You, fucking, you love your family. Who's your favorite family member? Don't even think about it, just say it. Your dad, fuck yeah. What's your dad's name? Eric. Eric, Eric and Cole, just fucking shit up, yeah? <laughs> What's Eric's favorite TV show? You don't know, yeah. So maybe, maybe you're, yeah, maybe you're not his favorite family member, yeah. <laughs> maybe he hasn't shared that piece of himself with you yet. That's okay. <laughs> Typical son-father relationship. I love you, Dad. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Young Rock, Tuesdays on NBC. I played Vince McMahon. Uh, played Jay Leno on Pam and Tommy. Um, saw that show. Didn't uh, know I could do it, Jay Leno. I just started fucking around with it. And now because of that voice, after doing that, I was like, oh, I'm gonna work on some other impressions to, uh, to maybe see if uh, other roles come along that I could fit the bill for. I wanna be prepared for it, right? That's how the business works. So I'd like to uh, close out and do a few of those real quick. Uh, maybe get some immediate feedback from you guys. Uh, his first impression is uh, Nicolas Cage, Academy Award winner, uh, Nicolas Cage, um, finding out, uh, well, stubbing his toe in the dishwasher. Here we go. Oh. I can also do, uh, 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 can also do uh, Dr. Phil, daytime talk show host Dr. Phil, um, uh, finding out that his wife uh, burnt his turkey pot pie. Here we go. Well, no, the package says seven minutes, sweetheart, so I'm just a little baffled, okay, why you put it in for nine minutes when it clearly says, se you know, life is all about the choices we make and the choices we don't make. And I'm, look at me when I'm talking to you, bitch. I just think there's only two. And this, uh, this last impression um, I'm gonna do is, uh, is uh, Jake and Keenan uh, <laughs> meeting, each other, meeting each other in the bathroom finding out that they both have cheese earrings. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Dude! I can also do, uh, 